Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to evaluate permutations. Okay, let's start. In this video, we're going to evaluate the following expressions. Okay, we're going to get the numerical values of these expressions. These are permutation notations. Yeah? Okay, let's begin. But before we start, let's recall the permutation formula. Okay, yung general formula. Okay, where there are n different objects, and from those n different objects, we're going to select r objects at a time. Okay, so ito yung formula. Do you still recall? You can have p and r. Ito yung n different objects. Okay, and then you're going to select r objects out of n different objects. Okay, and this is another permutation notation. Okay, so n, p, r, it's n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. Now, what if r is equal to n? Okay, so ibig sabihin, there are n objects and we're going to pick all those n objects at a time. Okay, so what do you mean by that? Here. Okay, so we let r be equal to n. If we use this expression, we're going to have n factorial over n minus n factorial. And what is n minus n? Zero. Okay? So zero factorial is equal to one. So that's why we have n factorial divided by one. So we only have n factorial. So it means that kapag magkapareho yung number na nakikita nyo dito, okay, to get its numerical value, this is just equal to and factorial, okay? I have a video about factorial notations. In that video, you're going to learn how to deal with factorials, how to evaluate factorials, okay? Now, let's evaluate, okay? Let's have this. What do you mean by P of 7, 7, okay? Nakita nyo? Pareho yung number na ito. So, this is just equal to 7, factorial. And what do we mean by 7 factorial? It's like this, right? The product of decreasing, okay, and consecutive integers, okay? And then if you do the math, okay, you will get this value, this numerical value, 5,040. So, ganun lang ang gagawin ninyo, okay? Kapag pareho yung number na nakikita nyo dito, okay, ganito lang siya. Okay? So, for example, ito. Diba? 5, 5. So, to get its numerical value, this is just equal to 5 factorial. Tapos, ganito lang siya. Okay? 5 times 4, 20. 20 times 3, 60. 60 times 2, 120. Okay? Let's try more. What about this one? Okay. This time, magkaiba na yung N at saka yung R. So, all you have to do is to recall the permutation formula. Okay? So, that's n factorial over n minus r factorial. Ito. Diba? Tapos, what is 10 minus 5? It's 5. So, you have here 5 factorial. Huwag nyo na itong expand Okay? Tapos, yung 10, you stop at 5. What do I mean by that? It's 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, times 5 factorial. Okay? So, diniscuss ko yun doon sa video ko about factorial notation. So, we're going to have this. So, you'll see here, bakit kailangan mag-stop na lang tayo sa 5 factorial. Okay? Para mag-cancel out na lang sila. Okay? And then, all you have to do is to get the product of 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6. Okay? And you will get 30,240. Let's evaluate more permutations. Okay? Number four. So, ganun din to. Okay? Different yung N sa R. So, all you have to do is to recall again the 
formula. It's n factorial over n minus r factorial, like this. Okay, and again, what is 8 minus 3? 5. So you have 5 factorial in the denominator. Do not expand 5 factorial. Tapos yung 8, okay, you're just going to write 8 as, or 8 factorial as 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. Ganito. Para magka-cancel out ulit yan. Okay? Tapos ang kukunin nyo na lang is 8 times 7 times 6. And you're going to have 336. Okay? More. So, dapat wag kayong malito. Okay? Huwag kayong makonfuse kapag ganito ang permutation notation na ginamit or kapag ganito. Okay? So, kung ganito kayo sanay, P, N, R, okay, instead of N, P, R, so, isulat natin siya in terms of P and R, like this. Diba? This is your N, and this is your R. You may now write this expression in terms of factorials. Ganito. Diba? Okay, what is 6 minus 2? 4. So, you have 4 factorial. Wag nyo nang expand Okay? So, you'll have that. Okay? Cancel. So, you're just going to get 6 times 5, which is very easy, right? It's 30. Okay? Oh, try pa tayo ng isa pang ganitong expression. Ganyan. Okay? So, what do you notice? Pareho yung N at saka R. Okay? You can write that in this way. O ano nga ang gagawin kapag pareho ang N at saka R? This is just equal to 6 factorial. Right? And then, you may want to expand the 6 factorial in this way. If you get the product, you will get 720. Okay? More examples. Here. Okay? So, for number 7, we have negative 4 plus 7p4. Again, kung hindi kayo comfortable, sa notation na ito, sa permutation notation na ito, you may want to write it as P74. Ito yung N, ito yung R. Okay? Okay. So, you'll have this. Okay? Sinulat ko na in terms of factorials. Okay? 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 4 factorial. Okay? So, all you have to do is, isimplify nyo muna ito. Okay? Tapos, saka nyo i-add sa negative 4. Okay? So, same. Yung gagawin. Like this. Okay? 7 minus 4, it's 3. So, you have 3 factorial. So, wag nyo nang expand Okay? Yung 7 factorial, magsa-stop na kayo sa 3 factorial. Wag nyo nang isusulat yung 3, 2, 1. No. Kasi, this will cancel out with this one with the denominator. So, all you have to do is to get the answer in 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. Okay? You'll get this. Okay? So, nakita nyo, kinokopya ko lang yung negative 4. Okay? Habang sinisimplify ko yung 7p4. Diba? Nag-start ako by writing its factorial expression and then evaluate ko. Then, I get its numerical value. And then, what is 840 plus a negative 4? So, it's like 840 minus 4. You will get 836. Okay? Last example. Okay? We have here 5 times 6p5. So, you're going to have this. We write 6p5 in terms of factorials, like this, okay? And then, we try to simplify this factorial expressions, okay? 6 minus 5, it's 1, 1 factorial, it's just 1. So, you'll have ganyan, okay? So, pwede nyo actually natanggalin yung 1 factorial, okay? It is simply 5 times 6 factorial. And what is 6 factorial? 
6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Like this. Okay? So, you get the product here. Okay? You will get this one. Okay? So, it's like 6 times 5, 30. 30 times 4, 120. Times 3, 360. And then you have 720. 720 times 5, you will get 3,600. So, madali lang, right? All you have to do is to practice more. Okay? So, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.